I give up. I cannot pass this dumb exam. I've tried so many times and I think I'm just not smart enough. Perhaps they were right. The PMP exam is not for everybody. You know, when you say that, you, if you think you can't do it, you're right. But if you think you can do it, you're right. But you don't want to be right about doing something you can't do, right? That's negative. You know, there's something that I learned about at school called gross mindset. It's about training your brain to learn about, to learn more about the world. Oh. And possibly more about, well, trying to get yourself certified. And I know, I've never taken the PMP exam before, but I understand what other students and colleagues are going through. So, here's my advice. You need to train your brain. And what do I mean by train your brain? Well, there's a little something called gross mindset. Gross mindset is about training your brain to learn new things. And did you know that your brain has a million little atoms inside it? And one of those and lots of those atoms inside there are actually based on how many things you learn. From the ABCs to the one, two, threes to the basics and to the hard stuff and to getting certified so that you can become a better project manager. Hmm. Did you know that some people that try to uh, try to give up actually have the case of a fixed mindset and fit and... How do you fit? mean? What's fixed? Well, some people might refer to fixed as making new again, making it brand new again and it's... Um, oh, like it's fixing like, something. Yeah, like okay. fixing something. But you don't mean that, do you? Yeah. By fixed mindset. You mean like being fixed and not moving forward? Yes, being fixed and not moving forward. That's ah. exactly what I'm talking so about. So are you saying that the way I'm speaking now is more like having a fixed mindset when I say I can't do something? Yes. Ah. Here, here's what, here's what, a, what an actual, what a fixed gross mindset would look like. I can't do this, or I'm so dumb, or they're better than me. Or, I wish I was smart. Or, the worst of all, I quit. Ah. So, all of you PMPs to be, you heard it from a 12-year-old trying to give you a little bit of encouragement. Don't have a fixed growth mindset. Don't say I cannot expand anymore from where I am. And don't say the PMP exam is beyond my tolerance for ambiguity. That is throwing in the towel and having a fixed growth mindset. Don't do that. Don't do that. You want to look at your PMP exam as an opportunity to expand and grow. Because, as you heard her say, your brain can expand. All those neurons, all those cells can expand in your brain. Which makes For your you brain to, much heavier. <laughs> which makes kind of like a muscle. Which makes your brain much heavier, but hopefully not so heavy you're gonna tip backwards and yeah, fall over. No, not but we're not consistent. we're not talking about that. But really we're saying that you can expand your mind. Don't have a dwarfed mentality mindset, guys. The PMP exam is not beyond you. There, there's a particular project manager, very unfortunate, I was trying to speak to him almost a decade ago, trying to convince him, go for the exam again. Yeah, you've taken it quite a few times. He hadn't been on our program, but he knew about me in social media space, and I was just starting full-time with Prazion. And this guy, traffic engineer, smart, I would have expected him to take the exam again, but he said, Phil, the PMP exam is beyond my tolerance for ambiguity. I'm not doing it ever again. And that was unfortunate. If only he knew that his brain could grow. I've heard some people say, Phil, I've not been to college for the past 20 years. And then they come into the course, they go through it, they take the exam, they pass the exam. I've had someone pushing 70 take my course. This is someone who had worked as a VP for ages in engineering. But he decided he wanted to really know what his people were going through. He wanted to know what his 
project managers who were working for him had experienced and he wanted to take the exam. So he came aboard our learning system and within a couple of months he was a PMP. Can you imagine that? Pushing 70 but he became a PMP and is now consulting in his retirement. So for someone to say, oh, fill my brain cells, they haven't been activated in a long time. No. Sounds funny, but it's fixed growth mindset. You don't want to be like that. You want to have the imagination that you can do the impossible. Your brain is more malleable than you think. You think it's fixed? No, it's not. Apply it. Give yourself some accolades. Give yourself some reward for the effort that you put in. And we're assuring you, you will see a dramatic increase, a dramatic increment in your knowledge and ability to assimilate the stuff that we train on this channel. Don't give up. It may seem hard. You might fail it once. You might have failed it twice. You might have even failed the exam three times. But don't give up. You know, one of my mentors says, confusion is the first step before learning. You gotta be confused to learn. Otherwise, there's nothing to learn. You gotta be confused to be able to absorb more. You gotta be empty to be full. And it's all right to be confused. It's all right to be empty. It's all right to be void of understanding. But what is not all right is for you to say, I do not have the ability to comprehend. I do not have the capacity to add on more or to absorb. That is what you should not do. Okay? So I want to challenge you. If you feel you don't understand, you don't comprehend, you don't have the capacity come aboard our learning management system and just give it a try. Small increments. Our modules are designed such that you're watching one video per process. You're not watching one big old three-hour video for a knowledge area or 10-hour video. No, no, no. It's broken into very manageable bite-sized chunks. And we employ methods such that regular reviews regular quizzes and tests assure us that you are absorbing the content. So I want to encourage you, don't give up. Come aboard our system, okay? You need to go to praiseon.com, that's P-R-A-I-Z-I-O-N.com. Look for our 35-hour course right there in the menu. So if you're looking up in the training menu, click on that and you begin to see various curricula that are available. But the one you really want is the 35 Contact Our Course. That will really, really begin to remold, remold your thinking about the PMP exam and the PMBOK guide, breaking it down into tiny little chunks. And the cool thing is, if you've got any questions, we'll help you explain what you don't understand in further detail. In fact, we are very well known for creating video content for our students based on their confusion. We create new content. We create new content and many a time we share this new content with everyone right there on YouTube, social media, Facebook. We share lessons that we've prepared for students so that they can better master the content. We share with everyone. So that's our mindset. You know, it's one of being open source when it comes to these questions, these great questions that students ask, see? And we would just love for you to come on and join us on this journey, journey to success as you study, all right? I hope that helps, and I hope that inspires and motivates you. You can absolutely do it. Just go, go, go. Keep on trucking, and don't stop. Don't stop until you got that cert in your gig bag. All right? From me, it's goodbye. And from my student, it's... Hello. And bye for now. Have fun. And I'll speak to y'all very soon. Bye for now. See you later, Gator.